For all your video production needs, please call 561-305-4765. I have a thought that I got from Scott about two months ago. If he was such his dogs was such a bad condition, is there any way I could contact you to where you could see my dog? Oh, we don't need to. You know, we'd never make the air because we've got a good interview here, here. We've got Scott's dogs, so. I've seen some of his dogs that animal care and control took that look okay, so. And, I, and you're a satisfied customer of Scott? Very case? satisfied. I bought a dog from Scott, brought him home, that night the dog got sick, I called Scott. Scott said, bring the dog back, I'll give you your money back. Gave me my money back and told me you have to be patient. We have to see what's going on with, what's, with this, what, what's going on with the sickness with these dogs. And he kept calling me and let me know exactly what was going on. I have four children. I just had to put my Rottweiler down because he had a tumor in his hip. And I was getting another dog for my children. And unfortunately, and if what anyone's been- to the puppy? It was returned to Scott, and he was taking care of the dog. Okay. And if anybody's been paying attention, this has been all over the news. It's not only Scott. Pavel's been traveling through this state mm -hmm. and affecting a lot of animals. And I don't understand why they're doing this there. The place is clean. There's no dogs being abused here. Um, it's been tough. You know, they're here every day with me. They mean a lot to me as well. And it took a big part of my heart away. It's not fair. It's not fair. You guys are taking somebody's baby, man. That's not right. Uh, what I saw was them finding a whole lot of not what they were looking for and starting to throw things to the wall to see what would stick. He's also been accused of selling sick dogs. Well, I'm not a customer of his. As a matter of fact, I'm not his business agent, I'm not his legal counsel, and I'm not Scott's daddy. However, I do know that where the health of these dogs was concerned, I've seen him over here numbers of times going over the dogs, administering medication, and as far as Parvo is concerned, Parvo is very close to being untreatable. And there's also an epidemic in the state of Florida with Parvo right now. Parvo is all over the place. So as far as Scott being responsible for the dogs having Parvo, I think that's a bit of a stretch, and that's putting it charitably. We did have one dog, a mama dog at the far end that was kind of getting sick. I let Scott know, and he does self-medicating the dog. And we had a veterinarian appointment to take it to the to the veterinarian. We didn't get that far because you folks that took the dog before then. Other than that, all the dogs were perfectly healthy as far as I was aware of. I have to say that uh, it doesn't sound possible that Scott had anything to do with uh, dog cruelty or animal cruelty in general. I've been in a compound before, I've been all over with him, I've seen how he treated the dogs, I've seen how he take care of our money, how always he run around and make sure that everything's fine. And uh, that's mainly what I have to say. Scott really loves his dogs and I just can't believe what I heard. I think that uh, animal cruelty I think that's pretty ridiculous. We were so pleased with our purchase. Uh, we went over and we picked her out. Uh, the facilities were great. We met the mother, we met the father. They were just beautiful, beautiful dogs. Uh, we had no problem. We were there many a time to visit without him even knowing we stopped by. So we never found uh, the area to be dirty or uh, it was a happy situation. Mr. Kip uh, not only sells us a dog, but he shows us their parents. And this is the second Wart Rider that we've had. It couldn't have been a cleaner, more healthy dog. We took it to the vet to make sure everything was perfect. So I don't see what you guys are looking for or what you think he's doing, but you're completely on the wrong, wrong avenue. Uh, all his dogs should be returned because they're all healthy dogs. And I will buy another dog for him in a heartbeat. This dog came from his breed. 
And there's nothing wrong with her. She's gorgeous. She's she's one in a million. Please give him back his dogs. Miss Piggy, Eminem, and all of them. They need to be with him. And Blackie. And Blackie. <laughs> we know them all by name. So please give him back his dogs. Please. Smile, Gigi. Smile, Gigi. Occasionally I see him walking his dogs. He loves those dogs. I just hope you find it in your heart to make sure that you give these dogs back to this man because he deserves it. He's a good dog breeder. I've never had any problems with Scott. Thank you, and I hope you take this to heart. This dog is a perfect dog. It was just amazing, and like I said, I bought it from Scott, and I know he cares about dogs tremendously and wouldn't do anything to harm a dog. I highly recommend anybody I know that's interested in buying a dog to get one from him because he cares and he takes care of them. I've been to his place and saw his dogs. He's always very, very lo loving the dogs. He's very gentle to them and he show a lot of affection with the dogs. You know, if, if Scott was as bad as people say are saying he is, we wouldn't have gone back for a second dog, let alone a third and fourth dog. I think it's really tragic that these dogs have been taken away from a man that uh, loves animals so much. Even before animal regulations required health certificates, Scott was given health certificates. Whatever it is, this dog is probably one of the best dogs that we've ever had. And I think what people in South Florida need to start doing, instead of attacking people that are innocent and giving them bad raps over stuff that they don't do, they need to focus on bigger problems like crime and everything. This guy's a good guy. His kennel's a good kennel. It's clean. I've been there. The dogs are definitely well treated. I mean, Plus, he had to make sure that the dog was coming into a good home. Yeah, he came over here. I mean, he had to see if we had other aggressive dogs here. He's called us on numerous occasions to make sure we're keeping up with the shots and the vet visits because they are high maintenance dogs. And then and the he, first night we had the dog and she was snorting, <laughs> yeah, which I is what they well, do. I kind of got snorted because they're like pigs, so they're like, oh, oh, no matter what you do. And um, I called him at like 4 o'clock in the morning and said, Scott, is this normal whatever? He goes, I don't worry about it. Even, even after that, the vet checked the dog said it was one of the healthiest dogs that she's come in. Uh, that she's seen come into the, um, the animal hospital for the breed that it is because she's had some nightmares with Charpeys. This dog in particular was an awesome catch by us. I gotta say, Scott Kipp's a good guy. Leave the man alone, give him his dogs back. Leave the man alone, give him his dogs back. Don't give him his dogs back. That's all I gotta say to you. I've never, never seen him abuse any animal ever. And in fact, I would consider himself an animal lover. With his dogs, I'm a dog owner and dog lover myself. Had I ever seen any issues uh, being a, a physician, I probably would have reported him being a dog lover myself. And uh, there's never ever been a problem. He's been over plenty, I've been over plenty of times, and he's had uh, people over checking out the dogs. I've played with the dogs myself, and uh, never seen any problems or any issues with the dogs. Every time I went over there, the, the animals, the dogs he had, the kennels, were very clean, and he always maintained a high standard of uh, cleanliness. He was always clean and make sure the dogs were clean and fed and uh, they loved him. Uh, those dogs really loved him and he, he uh, really loved them too. Scott is not an animal cruelty like they say he is. Scott has really healthy dogs. He's always took care of his dogs really good every time I go over there. If it's to buy a dog or if it's just to go and meet up with Scott. I never seen any of his dogs covered in their pee or poop. I don't understand why they're doing this to him. It's not right. It's like taking someone's kid away. That's not right at all. I believe that Scott should have all his dogs back. And stuff I've seen the kennels. I know all the thing about him. Decent dogs. I bought a mail from him around December, January. I bought one. I had him. Right now he's 85 pounds at eight and a half months old. Great dog. My mom keeping him. She in love with him. I can't understand why y'all taking taking us man dog where we got the dog from because he he cared a lot for his dogs. If he didn't, I wouldn't have this beautiful dog right here. And I think uh, he should have his dog back.
I can understand why they took him in the first place.